Well, had to even out the field, so I got this little girl right there in the back. That is Doe. Uh, she was in some of the Show Life episodes. That is Champion Cookie to Champion Homicide. And she is her mama done over. So, amazing bloodline right there. Uh, not sure what's going to happen. She's still a baby. She'll be a year in December. Doe. Doe. Come here, girl. She's just, just watching inside. Hey. Hey, mama. She's got that 2020 vision, though. If you, she looks me straight on, you'll see what I'm saying. A little crooked eye. Not, not too bad. One's a little lazy. She's a beautiful girl, though. And then I got this girl in my lap, or trying to be knee high. Hey, knee high. This is a champion scion daughter. Oh, there you go. Got champion loso. Uh, Bandit and Nacho. Those are both champion loso boys. Buster is a champion Jaws daughter, or son rather. Just snuck inside. But yeah, got a new girl to add to the group. She's fitting in good. Everybody asks if they're good with kids. Here you go. Yes, they are. They watch out for the kids. They like to they like to get up on them though. We're working on all that. Some of these are still pups, so you know, we work on it. But they get excited. They love the babies. We're trying to get them to stop jumping though cuz uh my my youngest human baby is uh, She's going to be walking, hopefully. Well, hopefully not soon. She's seven months, almost. Looks like we might have some rain coming, so. Just enjoying the day right now. Out with the dogs. Oh, Nacho. Oh, boo. There's Buster. Hey, hi. Hey, girl. Do we go get her and stand inside so you can actually see her through the window? Who? Oh, Abigail. No, it's okay. okay. This was more about dough at the moment. Huh, girl? Welcome back, girl. Happy to have her here. She's been at L.A. Bully Cartel Compound. Which I believe Jew may have some uh, dogs available. So if any of you guys are interested... In a, I don't know if he has pups or not, but you'll have to let me know what your budget is, and then I can let you know what dogs in that range he has available. Honestly, our dogs range anywhere from 2000 to, I mean, honestly, we've turned down $25,000 offers before on certain dogs. Uh, turned down a $100,000 offer on Grand Champion Jaws, so... You know, but um, Jew may have some. Again, it depends on your budget. Generally, we're very fair. It's usually like between two and five k for solid quality. Um, I'm possibly thinking of offering Nacho and Bandit. I don't know yet, though. I have not decided. Nacho's two years old. And Bandit, the Black Tri, is 13 months old. They both are, uh, well, Bandit's a 65-pound pocket right now. And Nacho is a 70 or 75-pound classic, okay? Same daddy for both of them, different mamas. Uh, Nacho has an incredible, incredible pedigree. His grandfather is Grand Champion Guapo. And Grand Champion Ricky Ricardo. Um, amazing pedigree behind Nacho. And Bandit. Bandit. Come here. What you doing, boy? He's going to be a thick dude. He's 65 pounds right now at 13 pounds. And he's my shortest boy on the yard. Slightly shorter than Buster, but not by much. They're close. And... Champion Loso, he's not available. Buster's not available. None of the girls are available. 
the corgi's the boss, so she's definitely not available. But I was just doing, wanted to show you guys my new addition. Here at the house, anyway. She's always been partly mine, but June and I talked about it, and he let me have her, so I'm pretty happy, and I appreciate it. Well, thanks, girl. You couldn't make it six inches to the to the grass for real. But still, um, I'm happy to have her here. She's a sweetheart. And champion Cookie, if anybody remembers, like, she was our, she's the oldest grand champion Jaws daughter. So now this is the oldest uh, grand champion Jaws granddaughter. And I'm very happy to have her. She's beautiful. She's about to start popping. And she's shredded right now. So her daddy is champion Homicide, who is uh, grand champion Jaws' brother. So again, phenomenal pedigree behind her. And we'll see. We'll see how she develops before I decide who I'm going to take her to. If we breed her, she's still young. She's a baby. She won't be a year till December, and I do follow ABKC ethics, code of ethics, and with that, you don't breed girls until they're at least 18 months old. You don't breed boys until they're at least 12 months old, and that's because they need to develop, and it's also because, you know, certain health checks should be done. Um, I've had Loso, he's clean as can be. He was checked by me. He was checked by Rogue. He was checked by all kinds of people. He's good. Nacho is good. He's OFA certified, I think, or CFA. I'm not sure which one. But he's been checked several times. Buster's getting ready. Buster's messed up because he decided to start a fight with Nacho. And, uh, yeah, Nacho got him back. Nacho's not mean in any way, I promise you. Like, unfortunately, it sucks when that happens. I was out of town, but my wife was able to, st to stop it. But Buster started it, and he picked a fight he should not have done. And thankfully, my wife was able to uh, stop them because it, it's dangerous. She had to run inside to change our baby. And in a matter of a couple minutes, Buster... He got his butt handed to him. We got him to the vet, got him laser cleaned, all kinds of good stuff so he was safe. Antibiotics, obviously you see he's good to go. Um, just to be clear, fighting dogs is, you better not. If I catch you doing it, I'm turning you in. I'll, I'll fight you. Like this was accidental. And these boys love each other, so we don't know what happened that day, but it can happen. Now, I've had, I've told many people before, don't ever, ever have girls in heat around your boys at the same time, because that will, even with boys that all get together, or get along well together, you put a girl in heat, and even we've seen it at shows, you can have dogs that have hundreds of hours of training, and a girl in a heat walks by, and they go crazy, okay, so there's been fights at shows, it happens, you know, these are uh, amazing dogs they're loyal dogs but you have to understand they get in arguments just like we do and that's why you have to train them well you have to bring them up right huh Isaac just like the kids huh yeah. got to train them well bring them up right yeah same thing with these dogs and uh, we love them to death they're like they're not my kids I love I, you know my kids are my kids Nothing's ever more important than my children. But these guys are, they're like my kids. I love them. Do everything I can to take the best care of them I can. And, uh, you know, many may not know I have PTSD. Uh, Loso is my service dog. <laughs> he has saved my life. So he'll never be sold. He's mine until he dies or I die. Uh, so, yeah, he has saved my life, though. Nacho, come here, man. Nacho, come on, big boy. I don't think he's coming out because he's starting to rain. Good boy. What you doing, buddy? Come on, man. 
And Nacho got some scrapes on him too. Buster got him too. You see? It happened. But it's not okay and they know that. They were all on restriction for about two weeks because of it. Restriction for me means you get out the kennel to pee, poop, and then you're back in. Huh, guys, we don't like those restrictions, do we? No, we want to run around. As long as I'm out with dogs, I can have about 30 at the time, and they'll listen just fine, never have issues. You know, but you walk away from them with that many, you're asking for problems. I don't care what breed you have. They're going to end up at some time. Like that little girl right there. Oh, she'll be the first one to start some stuff, won't you, Ellie? Oh, huh, girl. What, what you looking away for? One huh? Time, one time she broke up the fight. Yeah, she does. She tried, She's the boss. She, she See her? She's sitting out there watching over everybody. She's like, I am your queen. Listen to me. <laughs> and they do. Except for old Nacho. Look at it. Look at that right there. Pretty sight, huh? American bullies with a corgi on top. Hope you all have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Welcome to the yard, though. I hope you enjoy it, sweetheart. Yeah. I've been, I hadn't seen her in a little while, and I saw her, and I had to talk to Jude, and I was like, man, can, is there any way? And he said, yeah, of course. And uh, it was Summer's favorite to, girl, too, so we brought her home. Kids are happy. See, Isaac, he's happy. What shirt you got on, dude? Yeah, if it's all right, turn around. Turn around. Uh, in case though you didn't know, I'm nacho type. With a big shot of nacho. There you go. Yep, pretty cool. That dude right there. If you are possibly interested in a serious stud, I mean. I'm going to be honest with you, if I offer Nacho or Bandit, um, I'll, I'll offer it on this video. Um, it's 7K, non-negotiable, plus I would want uh, at least two stud, cut, stud credits to whichever one. Now, Los, or Nacho, come here, bro, Nacho. He is amazing pedigree. He is a 70-pound classic dog. He can't show because he has a minor limp. He broke his leg when he was young, but nothing's wrong with him. He's been checked several times. He's two years old with no litters. Um, his heart's been checked. He's OFA certified. Uh, Bandit. Come here, dude. Bandit. Come on, Bo. Bandit is 65-pound pocket. He's still filling out. He's a baby. He's 13 months. Uh, he's going to be a monster. He's... Not long, but he's slightly long. If you have short back girls, that would be best for him. Or if you're interested in using them again, that would be something that I'm looking at is, is your girl, does she have a shorter back? And that's just to, you know, he's solid every which way. That's where he needs a little bit of help. I'm very honest about my dogs. I don't hide or, or try to lie about anything. Like I'm willing to put my dogs in the show ring Every one of them is show quality. Even, well, Ripley can't Navy Casey because of her tail. Come here, Ripley. Ripley. Come here, Mama. Ripley. Come on, girl. She can't because of her tail. But if that girl had a full tail, she would already have been a champion. I promise you that. She's phenomenal. She's 13 months. That's Bandit's sister. And she's almost as big as her daddy, Loso, right now, which thrills me. I'm so happy about that girl. And her, their litter mates are phenomenal. They got uh, Gracie out in Texas, Superman down in Florida, and uh, let's see, Diesel is in Alabama, and then Rudy is in Alabama. So they're all doing phenomenal, great homes. Can't thank all those families enough for taking care of my kids, my dog kids anyway. Everybody's been asking me about litters. I'm, I will not have any until, if I do decide to breed these guys, it won't be until 2021. 
Um, they're they're just too young. They're not ready. Like the, I'm not going to do that. So Ripley just come out of her second heat. It may happen her next heat. Um, I'm not going to tell you who I'm taking her to, but it's a boy on this yard. Hmm. Wonder if it'll be him. I hope so. We'll see what happens. Going to do a little health checks on Buster to make sure he's good to go on everything. Um, he would be in his grand champion run probably right now with Jew if he didn't be an idiot and get in that fight. So now he's got to heal back up again. Well, actually not again. That's the first time he's ever got his butt whooped. He deserved it, but it sucks because he got hurt. Thankfully, my wife's really good at taking care of dogs, and we have a good vet, so he's good to go, but he just still looks like crap because all that hair's got to come back now. Buster, come on, dude. Come here, Bo. But he's okay. That's Nacho the most important he, thing. Nacho thinks he's the king. Yep. Not all right, guys. Happy Saturday. Have a good day.